you know, I think one of the things I have to say is that I've been in choirs since I was five years old. Um, and it's always been just one of the most joyful experiences for me. And so I think what's happening for me in my body when I'm singing in a choir um, or chorus is there's a certain excitement that I just get from being in the company of other people and experiencing the power of all of our voices happening at the same time. Um, there's also the embodiment of sound that I'm experiencing in my voice, but also in my ears, like I'm enjoying the music as well as creating it in the same moment, you know? And so, um, it's just a lot of excitement and joy and exuberance that's happening. Um, and I mean, it, it, it doesn't really, I don't think change too much for the type of music because I've sung in a number of different choirs, chamber choirs, women's chorales and gospel choirs and all of that. And I think that my particular love for music and my belief in the transformational and healing power of music, it, it makes it always so exciting in this really um, intangible, but still somewhat tangible uh, experience of, of just excitement. It sort of being there with it, with each other, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, let's go on to Jody. What are your thoughts on this? Well, um, I'm with Erin Maya, it's joyful. I think it starts with the warm up, really, because um, lots of us are sitting all day long and then you come to choir and the first thing your director asks you to do is to stand up and let's get warmed up. And um, uh, it, it means that breathing is changing, um, your movement is changing, uh, you're doing something together. And in that time that you're together getting prepared for the hard work, um, there's a lot of giggling, there's a lot of laughter because we do silly things as, as we're preparing. And it's, it's kind of like just saying, we are about to have fun together and let's make it the best experience we can have because some of us only get to meet once a week and so that's the time that you know you're anticipating you're looking forward to it and um you get to say goodbye to all those other things all those other distractions and i guess the last thing i want to say about it is that um you know the psychology of it is that you know singing comes from your body as opposed to um for example, when I'm playing piano, I'm playing an instrument and, you know, hit some wrong notes, I can blame the keys, that kind of thing. But, you know, you want to be at your absolute best when you're singing because it's really a, it's really a vulnerable part of you. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's joyful, it's scary, it's, it's the whole gamut. So <clears throat> I think that's why I love it. Yeah, it's interesting. It's uh, the body is the instrument. And and when you sing together with other people, they sort of unify, right? This breathing together, this creating sound together, the body physically vibrates. It's a very kind of fascinating thing to be the instrument. And then also it's sort of like you're feeling thinking instruments. It's a very, um, uh, it's hard to explain unless you experience it, I think. Ruben, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, you know, as I was thinking about the question, um, I too grew up in a singing environment. You know, my, my father always sang at home. And as far as back as I can remember, I, I grew up singing in church, whether it was in small group activity stuff or even choir things. And, 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 and as I get older, I, I find myself usually in front of a choir, not singing in a choir much these days. And, and so I, I, but I'm reminded that the thing that I, you know, my takeaway is that I absolutely love the community aspect. I just love being around people. And when you can come and be the sum of your parts, you know, of your various parts, I'm, you know, I sometimes joke and, and refer to myself as sort of a budget baritone of sorts. And, and I can bring my budget baritone self and be part of a chorus, you know, and do some really great things. And, and this also, we can't take for granted this idea of corporate breathing together, using our body as our instrument. And, and then I would say lastly, also, we can't also underestimate that we, we're dealing with words. You know, we have words to deal with. And, and, and as we hear a lot these days, words do matter. And, and we have this very tangible thing of words, syllables and sounds that we make that our, our instrumental counterparts don't have. And so I think all of these things wrapped up um, create a very unique sensation, I think, for us as, as singers and choral singers. Yeah, it's almost primal in some ways. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's very deep, this 
connection to the body, the voice, and wanting to share that with people around you. And it becomes emotional. It's everything all at once. Very fascinating. So I think that links nicely into our next question, which is, um, you know, we've talked a bit about how uh, the physical sensation of singing in a choir. And so let's touch on the mental and spiritual aspects of it, because we now know that together they have a, a profound and positive effect on the human body and mind. And, and this is somehow connected to endorphins generated by deep breathing and this sort of complex cognitive emotional engagement. So Jody, uh, can you give us a, a basic kind of summary of what's happening in our brains when we sing together as a group? Oh, okay, good, good question. Sure, so, um, so, so we have the cognitive side of our brain, which is the, the thinking side, the intellectual side. Uh, you, could, you could argue almost, almost the mathematical side. There's a lot of math in music. We're, we're deciphering rhythms. We're deciding how long to hold a note. We're, we're sight singing through intervals. That, those are mathematical relationships. We're, our, our entire intellect is engaged in absorbing what is happening in a piece and of course that's not all there's the aesthetic side that you mentioned earlier there's the emotional side and usually it begins right away because as you gather with people and you sing together and you know you you notice the tone or the beautiful vibrato of the person beside you or something else that's going on around you you immediately get touched by that sort of aesthetic side. And so what ends up happening is your brain is firing on all those pistons. So you end up being fully engaged, which is what we want. That's ultimately the goal. And that sort of leads to, you know, the hot topic of mindfulness, which is you get rid of the past, you get rid of the future, you tune in and you tune out the worries, the distractions, all those other things. So I really feel that what's happening brain-wise is, is the perfect example of mindfulness, which is what a lot of us strive for. So yeah. yeah it's a very fascinating thing. It, it takes sort of all the pistons to, to be a singer in a choir. You're watching, you're listening, you're thinking, you're interpreting all at the same time. And it's, it's, a, it's a very um, invigorating kind of experience. Um, Aaron, Maya, or Ruben, do you have anything to add to this at all? Actually, I was gonna say, um, in addition to everything that Jody obviously just masterfully said, um, I think one of the things that happens as well is, I think something you touched on a little earlier is the voice is, is a vibration, right? And so in the midst of singing with other people, we're mixing our vibrations together and also creating like this really strong synergy that is doing exactly what Jody said, right? So it's taking us in a way out of ourselves, but bringing us all kind of to the same wavelength mentally and emotionally. And so it just has this really, um, the word I'm thinking, I don't know why is incandescent, but like this, this supreme power to mm -hmm. kind of bring us all together and so that's the thing that you were saying you're like it's hard to to speak on it unless you experienced it but having experienced it it's kind of like there's nothing like singing together because of the way that it really gathers people together their energies and their i mean anyway yeah, it's no, it's incredible. It's this sense of this sense of community that that forms. I mean, and in reality, we're all singers if we want to be right. And so it's this, this thing we carry with us from the moment we're born, and then we can train it and, and work together to 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 create specific sounds and, and emotions. But uh, we we have this with us. We're born with this. And that's who we are. And it's very deep, I think. Ruben, anything to add? Yeah, you know, this idea of synergy is an interesting one because I think we've all experienced it. Let's say we have a two hour rehearsal and then on a given night, it just seems like that time just flies by in five minutes. Everybody's just sort of pulling the cart as it were in, in the same direction at the same vibration um, as we've sort of noted. And then, and then, you know, a week later, the same crew of people, it'll just feel not the same and and it, and it, i think it really does come down to this idea of mindfulness where 
if you've got everybody in the room being in the moment in like literally you are in real time addressing what you're doing now and i think for me personally it's one of the few things music is one of the few things that really makes me do that it forces you to do that you really can't be successful at music unless you're able to react in real time and and music is such a great um, I think tool and ex ex exemplifies life, how things move, proportion, you know, mathematics and but the idea of proportion, you go that way while you go that way. And it's just a wonderful tool that way. You can use it in so many different ways.